Hey lovelies, two things. I am about this close to going Britney on my hair and just shaving it all. This right here, I don't know if I cut it out of the other video, but I've been growing it out and it drives me nutty. Oh, it's so frustrating. Anywho, um, what did I actually want to talk to you guys about? The serious. Oh, um, one of the things that is really hard for people to understand is that, you know, like, well, I don't know, before I was sick, I would, it would take me a while to get, like, awake and going in the morning. So, like, that's, like, something that think people think they understand, but... I've been paying attention recently to how long it takes me from being like not able to speak words to feeling like I can walk around and stuff and it's like three to four hours. Yesterday was three hours, today was four hours and I think that's pretty normal. Um, but anyways, yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting because a lot of people don't understand that it takes a really long time for when we actually do wake up for us to be able to, like, remember things and speak and have a conversation and whatnot. Um, what was the other thing that was on my mind that I wanted to talk to you guys about? I have lots of videos coming up coming out of a flare right now um hopefully and um i hopefully will be able to film some stuff for you guys like my nature box and my wantables intimates and my eyes are doing better they're still bothering me but they're doing better and hmm, there's something else i wanted to talk to you guys about but I can't quite remember what it is anymore, but, oh, so, during this flare of mine, I hope I didn't just talk to you guys about this yesterday, but anyways, um, during this flare of mine, I haven't been able to walk at night. And it's really sucked because I love walking at night. I love um, listening to my book and just getting out there. And um, it's where I pray and just kind of give my worries to God and yada, yada, yada. It's like kind of my little ritual now. Well, I walked out and I talked to my dad and I said, you know, I've kind of been lining up when I started getting uh, migraines. And because I haven't gotten them since I've been in this bad, um, flare, and I just thought that was kind of odd, but I was like, do you think, is there any chance that me walking at night is what could cause me getting migraines, and my dad was like, yeah, and I was really surprised by that, because I thought he was going to be like, no, you're just trying to get out of walking or whatever, because I was really doing it because for be health benefits like I really was like this is the best because I get to exercise which is supposedly helps with fibro I don't know about that but and then um my anxiety I thought it's helping with and uh so he said yeah I get it I get real bad um headaches when I go out fishing and I was like, what? You never told me that. And um, so pretty much he said that he has like real bad sinus and, and whatnot. And he uses like a spray. And um, so I don't know. I'm hopeful that it is. It sucks. But it sucks having migraines more. So I'm hoping that those are the reason that I've been having so many migraines, but, um, it's, it just sucks because, like, I would even, like, force myself to go out and take, um, a walk if 
I was having a headache or whatnot, but it's just, um, when my flares last this long, it just really, um, I keep positive and I see my friends and, um, I keep things neat and tidy and I have my little hobbies that I do, but when the flares get this long, it gets, it just wears you thin. That's like the best way I can talk about it is like, it just wears you thin and I, the depression seeps in, the anxiety seeps in more, um, the doubt seeps in more and um, I get, um, my OCD seeps in a lot more. It's just all the things you have to deal with or cope is what I like to use. Um, it's just, you don't have those as much because you just don't have the energy to use them and you've already used them a bunch. And, um, you know, like my room was a mess and it just gets to me and it just gets too much sometimes. And it's hard because you can't really talk to anybody about that because nobody can help you with it. And, um, it's just something you kind of have to like think about within yourself and, pray about and talk to you like your, you know, your family that you've made with other people that experience this level of sickness and um, it's just really tough. It's very isolating and I don't know. There's just been moments where I don't have the part of fibro where it makes you sleep a lot. Um, I have insomnia, and then when I do sleep, it's very unusual, annoying times that I do sleep. So that's very isolating, and I have noticed that I've become a little bit crabby because I just am wearing thin, and um, so I try not to be like even around my parents then because I don't want to be crabby to them. It's not their fault that I haven't slept and I've been sleeping in the craziest hours. And but um, I don't know. It's so weird because I like sit here and I know in my mind that none of this makes any sense, but that when you guys hear this, you guys will be like, I go through the same thing. So. I remember when I first started making these, I used to apologize all the time for rambling and talking about all these different things, and I don't know if I make any sense, and, like, all this stuff, but when I question myself with that now, I just am like, mm, no, my, my YouTube family will know what I'm talking about, so, <sighs> I'm exhausted, I've been, wa I've been, um, writing down my spoons that I've been using, um, I did one for... Tuesday and that one for Wednesday and I'm already on zero spoons for the next four days really was quite shocking um, how many spoons I use from other days and I wonder why I'm stuck in bed but I don't know there's not really much you can do about it there's just like normal necessities that you have to do and they take spoons so I don't know I'm exhausted but I hope you guys have a pay free stress free day and I'm sending out X double O's and I love you guys so much and thank you for always watching my videos and understanding and for your comments. Um, please comment how you're doing today, how you've been sleeping and um, yeah, as always I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!